and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Karma, uh, a deck that's that's just a good solid deck. I uh, haven't played it too much, um, you know, because it's we'll do a lot of other Karma stuff and a lot of other Spider stuff. Um, but yeah, this this combines them together. This deck's all about uh, being able to kind of switch game plans, either uh, go wide with Brood Awakening and all the spiders, or play a control deck and keep your opponent from going wide with like Withering Whale and Ruination, and win the late game with Karma. So it's kind of a, a classic mid-range deck, can really um, you know adapt to either be the aggressor or the defender, depending on what the opponent's doing. Just to basically a really, uh, just like, you know, big pile of, of really good cards and uh, nothing too nothing too fancy, but just um, some of the best cards in the game, putting Karma with the Spiders. So here we go. Let's play some Ranked and see how we do today. I'm going to go play five, five games over in Ranked like we always do. Play some spiders. So there haven't been any new previews today yet either, right? I didn't see anything earlier, but I could have definitely missed stuff. So Jinx Draven, Burn Aggro, Withering Whale, very good against Burn Aggro. Let's get rid of Karma. We'll keep the Elise for an early blocker and then a couple of Withering Whales to help us out. Gain life, keep them from going wide. Maybe should have traded or changed my background from our Demacia one. I'm playing Ionia Shadow Isles. That is not Demacia. I'll do better this time. Opponent. There we go. I pull the string. So kind of the problem with playing Elise right now is we don't, you know, we'll have four mana next turn. We don't have the mana for Withering Whale the next turn. Um, yeah, I do think the three Rekindlers is fine, but I also think that two is probably fine also. Like, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not really attached to either two or three. I understand that you use two in the deck. I'm... I'm pretty okay with either number. All right, just gonna bounce the Draven. Make them replay Draven. Ready. Come, stay a while. Okay. Yeah, same same action, Jackson. I. I also kind of know nothing about the Legends of Runeterra universe, the League of Legends universe. You won't get past me, Elise. Where are you? Reporting in. I'll try anyway. Oh no, I don't like that card. That card is great against Withering Whale. Oh, I don't know. Why am I not? Why am I not just attacking? I guess I should. It's Draven time. So if I withering whale, I take explosives bright. I take four damage immediately. I gain three, so I take one. But then it kills these two. So you can go to attacks. My other my other option is grasp the undying, kill the Draven. It's 
probably better to wail. Oh, I guess it, that's why we can't go to attacks, because of that thing. Oh, well. So now I'm taking two damage. So I'm down to 12, uh, 13, 14, or sorry, 12, 9, 6, ugh. 5, for the money makers. Oh, they discard. Oh, they discard. Duh, they just discard the other spinning axe. They got past me. Alright, so we're at five for now. We got some life gain. The problem with passing is they could have Jinx. Or like the pro like obviously the problem with passing is they could just untap and I waste all my mana, but the problem with playing grasp on the Draven is they could just have Jinx. And I really need to grasp a Jinx. They can't just empty their hand. If they can, I have Vile Offering. Or Vile Feast, or I guess I'd have to play Withering Whale. Still barely alive. I guess we're back up to six. Dang, all right. Yeah, Withering Wheel, Grassy Undying, that life gain. Worked out. Yeah, I have Jeremy. I moved over to Legends of Zentera instead. What do we got? Kinku Elusives. Let's get rid of Deny. Get rid of Aristocrat. Get rid of all these. I don't really like any of these cards against Kinku Elusives. I uh, wrote about why I switched to Legends of Runeterra a couple of months ago. That's hey, Krabby. in that Google That's document there. Withering Whale can be good. Possibly. But they can also have, you know, Elixir of Irons and all that kind of stuff. I do like Will of Ionia in this matchup for after they like pump up some some stuff really big with you know it's, this is a very good anti jewel protector card or like Extra hands never hurt. you know keeps the jewel protector. Quietly. From getting too far out of hand. Get the drop on him. 
So make this block turn their thing into one toughness, so now the hapless aristocrat can trade with it. The main question is, what do I do here? Do I want to play Karma or not? That's the main question. Where there is life, there is hope. Yeah, I think so, because where there is light, there is hope. So we'll play Karma. I don't really, you know, it's okay if Karma dies because we have the Rekindler. But the Karma will get us extra spells. I don't need to attack in with my 2 2 and try to trade with their 3 1. I mean, they can block and have Elixir of Iron. It would blow me out. Oh, now they can't have Elixir of Iron. I still don't need to. She would die to Ruination. That's what playing Karma this early means, that I would be likely casting Ruination and killing my karma, my own Karma. Do not fear the shrouded path. Hey, Dinkbox, good evening. Remember the plan. Nobody ever remembers the plan. Please, I have connections! Possibly I should have the Shadow Assassin just block the 1-1 one, one Omen Hawk first and then still be able to trade, but we'll have the Spiderling that we have here. I, I don't think I don't think I have to get that greedy. I think we could just try to um, save the life instead of taking 9 damage. Take 6. Don't think we need to be that greedy. Jeremy. Uh, what do you what do you mean, Dank? What's trade options? What do you mean? If I cast Grasp of the Undying, then we'll only have 8 mana next turn, so we won't have Ruination available. So if I want to have Ruination available, which I kind of do, means that we can't cast Grasp. Oh, trading... Oh, doing like stock options and stuff. Um, I've never, never done that. I, I am the blade in the darkness. Hmm.
All right, so no ruination. Decided it's a little too risky to try to set it up. Well, that that would have been perfect though. They wouldn't have had to deny mana. This would have worked perfectly. So we'll unsummon the seven six. I'm taking one extra point of damage to give me some high upside of uh, putting this thing back to being one toughness where if we draw Withering Whale, we could also Withering Whale and clear out all of these things. They usually have one Deny in their deck. It's usually what they play is one deny. Karma double ruination doesn't work. They kill me before I played a second, you know, that doesn't work because they just go straight to combat next turn. So I don't get to cast Ruination. If we want to play Ruination, we have to cast it here. Fortunately, like, our, our hand's just pretty messy with these Rekindlers and everything else. We just we just have to, and then we have to figure out how to, how to defeat a 5-4 now. draw two cards we're not drawing four cards but we're drawing two because the other one we don't get to kill an ally withering will is perfect Looks like this is over now. Karma should take over. <laughs> Even with three dead cards in hand. But Karma should take over. I kind of need this karma to die, I suppose. Where there is life, there 
is hope. They're passing. No, I, I don't find the game slower than Arena, the magic. Um, the games are a lot closer. They're a lot more, like all the games are more challenging and, and they're much more back and forth. Um, magic basically, so, ma so many of the games of Magic, a really high percentage are just one person curves out, the other person doesn't. This, both people basically do. And, and this, like the, the spell mana, you can catch up if you're behind also, and you can't just get a huge mana advantage. There's not people uh, mulliganing to five and not doing anything. There's not people missing land drops. There's not people just drawing, you know, six lands in a row. This is a much more back and forth skill intensive game. Um, where every game you really gotta, you know, you gotta be thinking and and making good decisions every game. Um, so we're at four. Eyes open. One for Brandon. <laughs> they just had the one one drop left in their deck. I probably should have just cast Grasp the Undying last turn and not Withering Whale. I I, I should have flipped the, those two. I should have used Grasp the Undying on the on the Green Glade duo. It would have been dealing nine damage to it. They weren't going to be saving it. Um, and then save the the Withering Whale for another time, for after we get another Karma in play. Should have should have flipped those two. They go straight to combat. We'll do that now. First step the hardest. Let's move. And then we still have Deny or Withering Whale. Alright, Spider Karma, 2 0. That one on the back of Karma, not so much Spiders. But other games, we may need you know, the help of Spiders. That game is Karma. Had a good good record day today. Ten and two. I just don't really like Hapless Aristocrat that much. 
Seems like this would be a, a good hapless aristocrat matchup. I'm just gonna ship it. Because basically people can just ignore it and then they don't you know, they don't like block it or anything, and then it's just like this just this one one that's not a spider. I need it to turn into a spider for all these other cards. There's nothing to fear. Free attack. Definitely possible I should be uh, casting this the previous turn. If it was like normal, like if this was, obviously if this was normal crawling sensation, we'd be casting it, like obviously. Um, but with it being Elise's crawling sensation, I, I kind of want to, like if, if they killed my Elise, I want to have a new Elise. have a new Elise on life. Um, but now... I guess we flip Elise. cast that then I wasn't gonna be able to have I was gonna have like a horrible turn this turn but by a tribute to the by not casting it then I get to play the brood awakening If I do nothing, they flip Elise. If I want to make my attack. up for us. It's gonna be a close one. It's definitely gonna be a close one. So no other champions, no Thresh. And that's why I kept him another Elise. This next turn we'll have six mana. Kinda awkward with six mana. We want seven for a lot of reasons. Bring peace to Ionia. 
whatever the cost. Yeah, I doubt they're playing Legacy, but they're they're absolutely playing They Who Endure and Atrocity, and that's that's what we're really gonna like struggle against is They Who Endure and Atrocity. Uh, we have the deny for Atrocity. But they who endure is going to be a problem. Yuck. That's a great card right here to just kill my karma. That's a great card. Return to us. Come on back, karma. Come on back. Oh. Okay. They are playing Legacy. Well... That's weird on 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 Tonoma. That's weird. Um, also, another thing you can do, since if you can't get the mobile addicts link to load for to look at decks, just head on over to my YouTube page there, and you can check out all the decks. Um, you know, just go to like the videos tab. You can see all the all the decks there, and there's not only a link to the deck list um, there, like with the mobile addicts, but there's also the code, and so you, you can get the code for any of the decks off the YouTube channel. Okay, nine mana. Yeah, you called it. I... I doubted. I doubted they were playing Legacy. Absolutely. So the, the play I did was to keep, basically, was, was to keep another deny available. And that's why I didn't deny that grasp. Thought there might be or the glimpse beyond. I thought there might be something better to deny. Dang, another glimpse beyond. All right, ruination's cool. <clears throat> that can help out against a bunch of spiders. So I could play Elise and Brood Awakening and have two mana left. Hmm. Play the Brood Awakening for now, kind of see what they do with their other seven mana. We may need to deny again. Is this a deny? Those things are three threes, they're not one ones. Right. Hmm. Should have definitely attacked with both of these. My spirit is an 
Alright, Karma, help us win this game. It's all about they who endure. If they have they and they who endure, we're in a lot more trouble than if they don't. If they don't, we're doing just fine. If they have it, we're in a lot of trouble. Best Anivia deck. That I have maybe the Shadow Anivia. Yeah, probably the Shadow Anivia. Why'd I play this stupid hapless aristocrat? No, I don't have that mana. He gets the block though. Get me out of here. Level up Elise by playing Brood Awakening, only getting two spiders, or play Karma. Let's play. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, we have to destroy them by card count for sure. Or, well, I mean, I guess that's what we are currently doing that, but if they draw they who endure, we're in trouble. Let's make two five fives. We got three denies. Let's, let's use a deny. we're not in uh, I don't know we'll see how big we'll see how big a they who endure is the thing is it's gonna be like a 25 25 or something uh, completely ridiculous
Alright, they get their 5-5. Five five. I should have played the Shadow Assassin that I just drew. First. And then I just wouldn't attack the Karma, I would attack the Shadow Assassin. No, that doesn't make any sense. Still have one deny available if I counter this. Yeah, so you can you can Yeah, you can drag them of like how you want to attack and then put them out there, you know, going first to last. That's nice instead of having to click each one individually. This is me leveling up Elise. Smooth as we would have I could have put my opponent down to one there with the stand united. So I guess if I would have played Shadow Assassin first, maybe we could have gone for lethal with that. I don't really know what the point of of that just was. Oh wait, no, Stand United doesn't swap the places because we have Karma because it, ca it casts it twice and then go back. Never mind. Oh, they did that so they could draw the card. Right. Figured it out. Still have five mana. Can't really kill us with five mana. Should be good. All right, GG's. 3 0 with Spider Karma. We defeated Iceborne Spiders. They did not draw They Who Endure, and that made my life much better. That was the card. They Who Endure was the card that was going to beat me, and they never drew it. So, had the rest covered. But, you know, like a, a 30 30 or whatever it would have been. Not sure if I would have had that covered. We'll see how how's the dog doing. Oh, he's doing good. She's just laying in her bed, just snoring right now. Vladimir Demacia. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Keep the anti aggro cards. They won't get past me. That egg. Did it move? I'll do better this time. You have to get me out of here. need to save that. Let's get one point of damage in. Let's see what they do. they're not playing any other champion besides Vladimir. You know, like, no Draven. Here. No Lucian. My shield is yours. All right, well, we're taking that, too. Ready.
Frenzied Skitter. So good. play Brood Awakening, or do we want to wait? Sure, we get less damage in here. I just kind of like seeing what they do first. They can't block this thing. It's fearsome. Unless, well, unless they use a pump spell, I suppose. Alright. They got me. I'll take a two for one. We'll see what they do. There's more Cythrias. Like my other option is just Vile Feast and. Mm. Oh, Brood Awakening. I do like playing Skitter on their turn. If possible. My opponent's like playing a budget deck. They've only played common so far. Alright, this is perfect time for Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, the best way to deal with quick attack is um you know, first thing is of course just having removal for the quick attack creatures. Um, next, if you have things that, uh, if you can just, like, outrace them, if you can just kind of not block and, you know, attack back and, and outrace them, or I guess your only other option is things that, uh, pump your toughness. Stuff like Twin Disciplines, um, Elixir of Iron, cards like that. Even good. Not really. The order rewards its faithful. I will play my part. I like how they don't have any room to play anything else. So they have to skip that turn and they don't get to play anything. Yes, yeah, so they're just attacking him with everything now. They want more room. And now we'll give them some more room. So Let's see, we Withering Whale, Vile Feast. Maybe I just let this all happen. And just go block, 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 and just trade off everything. We could do that, we could just trade. We have three cards, I have a million. That's the thing about the Spider Karma deck that we're playing right now. It is, as you saw with that match, this deck is so good against aggro. That's really where this deck shines, is it is great against aggro. It's not as good in like the Spooky Karma, ugh, spook, spooky karma mirrors all the time. So the other decks can go bigger than you. But against aggro, having Brood Awakening plus Withering Whale and just having all of the spider stuff you know, basically all that spider stuff plus Withering Whale and Grass the Undying, it's it's really hard to, to beat this deck with aggro. This is the best anti-aggro deck. So, like, if you're playing, um, I guess, so, like, with that being said, if you're playing, like, in a lower rank, uh, you know, like, gold, diamond, or, like, sorry, uh, gold, platinum, 
you know, silver, bronze. I don't, I don't know. Like, if, they, if you're playing in a rank, like, where basically everybody's just running aggro all the time, and you have the ability to craft this deck, this is, like, the, this is, like, the best anti-aggro deck. Yeah, Michael, yeah, you'll absolutely enjoy this game. Yeah, absolutely. It's... It's very skill intensive. The games are really close. Um, they're they're really back and forth, and um, you know, uh, it's it's just such a balanced game. You'll absolutely enjoy it. All right, camera delay. I can I can fix that. Just a second. Um, Hecarim, Elise. Get rid of grasp and. Let's try these. Okay, that should be fixed now. My camera starts, you know, just lags over time, and if it ever if it ever lags like that, just just let me know in chat, because I'm not I'm not always like going over there and looking at it. But basically, I just refresh the camera, and then it's good. That's something that I didn't know for years. I just figured that out not too long ago. Uh, just realized that so. Yeah, basically, uh, just Google search Legends of Runeterra download and, uh, you know, put it on your computer and you can start playing the tutorials uh, right away and start building a collection. Um, on the 30th of this month, it will be on mobile as well. And you can link your, you can have a Riot account and link your uh, PC and uh, phone accounts. And so you can play on your phone and, and uh, earn experience and stuff towards building your collection on your PC as well. Uh, let's see. But if you want to, I have a YouTube video of me playing through the t playing through those tutorials if you want to watch me play through the tutorials of the game. And that's the video right there. I should make that a command. You can play it, uh, not yet on the 30th of this month, you'll be able to play it on your phone. That's when it'll be available everywhere. No, it, it, the mobile app will be free. And then new cards come out the 28th. So basically that 28th to 30th, like that window, like they're gonna try to have mobile available on the 28th, but they're saying that it, it may take like two days to get fully up up and running and, and operational. And they're saying by the 30th, it will be good. Hey, baloney pony. But yeah, we'll have the new cards on the 28th. It'll be exciting. It'll be a fully released game at that point out of beta. I think this is it. Hey, what's up, Alex? Uh, but that's that's the site for, for news. Uh, just playruneterra.com has the all the news of, to kind of keep up with the goings-ons. I wish I had Withering Whale right now. Withering Whale would be looking pretty cool. But we can play our own Brood Awakening to be able to uh, flip Elise this next turn. Go ahead. Level up Elise. But they're going to do all this attacking and try to keep me from doing that. You really won't have to spend money at some point. That's that's something that's amazing with this game compared to Magic and Hearthstone, if you're used to playing either of those. Um, especially, you know, like, the earlier the better as far as uh, grinding your collection, but, um, you know, you you can absolutely grind a collection and not spend money and get all of the cards. I don't really want to just take all this. You cannot escape. Mm. 
All right, you know what? We'll, we won't level up Elise. That's fine. Elise doesn't need to level up. <clears throat> uh, yes, we will be losing some progress. Uh, rank up progress. Um, it's in there. There's going to be rank up seasons now. Let's see. Um. My next card was Withering Whale. Right after I made that block. I got that Withering Whale first. Possibly should have gone straight into attacks where they couldn't block a lease. Come closer. I don't fight. Uh, it has, yeah, it has for now on Tonomo, but. I, I really enjoy playing the game, and I, I believe that it will pick up quite a bit. Master, I pull the strings. I could, like, not play the Elise and, and try to... Maybe I'm supposed to just not expand and try to... Um, I'm going to try to get this Ruination going. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have focused on ruination. Quite the dish, aren't you? I do not play League of Legends. I, I haven't. Um, I don't have anything against it. I've just I've always been a card player, so I've I've come from from playing Magic before. Been in the card game. Isn't great. You have to get me out of here. It's too late for you. Isn't that great at all? This thing has overwhelmed. This thing has fearsome. Probably should have been more focused on ruination or just the last couple turns. Uh, no, I haven't blown any pony. I don't. I don't know anything about uh, team fight tactics. I, just, I don't know anything about the game. I would love for them to play something here, and I think that's what they're kind of debating on, whether or not to play anything. They did not play anything. So if I play Ruination, and then they they just play, like, Rekindle or I lose. So I don't love that option. Do I lose? So I'd have Withering Whale and Vile Feast. Ugh. So basically, I lose. Mm
Are you sure it's on PC, Rex? You sure about that? The Final Fantasy VII's on PC? I'm pretty sure it's just PlayStation. Like, that's that's all I've seen. But I haven't really looked that deep. My so I'm not saying that it, it's absolutely that way. I actually got... You know, I was looking away, but I actually got kind of worried right there. I was like, "Whoa, their Elise is flipping!" I, I was like, "They don't have, they don't have spiders to flip Elise," and I was like, "What's going on?" And then I realized that was, you know, then I realized that that was my Elise. Oh, come on. Uh, I mean, that's just, that's game, right? Because these, I can't block any of these, and that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's ten. Oh, I guess we can block one of them. Ugh. So then this thing overwhelms over, yeah, so then that's actually the rest of the damage. Alright, well, setting, trying to set up, um, trying to, <clears throat> I, d I don't think I played that game well. I can say that, like, I didn't play that game well. And that's the thing about, like, this game is, like, if you don't don't play games well, you're not going to win. But I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly what I was supposed to do. You know, obviously, we'd have to kind of go back through it and go back through turn by turn. Uh, there was definitely that turn that I blocked with all those two ones, and then I drew the Withering Whale, the very next card. That would have been really nice not to block, and then be able to Withering Whale, and I would have had a flipped Elise, and who knows how that game would have gone from there. Um... But, you know, I was saying that, like, maybe I should have been working towards Ruination more. Um, but they had the, the, uh, that Deny, so I don't think that plan would have worked. But, so not sure exactly what I was supposed to do that, that last game. Um, but I'm sure that, I'm sure there was a lot of things that just throughout the game that we could have taken different lines looking back at it. But that's hindsight, you know, that, and that's, you know, something that you can kind of look back and watch and um, and learn, you know, how that how that game played out. Um, and uh, so if you have a, a future game like it, but Hecarim's still good. Hecarim really, really uh, hurt like that. You know, the like I <clears throat> I have a lot of small creatures in here. Let me kind of reset there. I have a lot of small creatures in here, and just the Hecarim Overwhelm and 4-5 Body was something that I couldn't deal with. Um, yeah, that's that was a really good card. All right, but still Spider Karma overall, a great deck. You don't see a lot of Hecarims running around out there. Um, if you want to, like, a deck that's really good against aggro, that's, that's absolutely what this deck is. Um, the aggro matchup is wonderful. Um... But uh, that's all I got. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. Some Spider Karma, and I'll see you for the next video.